<laughs> Hello, I'm Rob Roger. I'm a bread, so you don't have to. Guys, today is Paper Puppet's 10 year anniversary. To celebrate it, I have to do everyone a favor right now. Right after I review Paper Puppet Season 1. Season 1. The season I actually hate. Hate. That released on 2013. And yeah, this is a shitty ass puppet show. So I have to do everyone a favor. Wait, I have to review this piece of garbage. So let's review this piece of shit. I really do think that. Wait, it was a time. It was like a nine year anniversary of Paper Puppets since last year. Hello, I'm Rob Roger. I don't know, so you don't have to. Yeah, guys, happy nine years. Yeah, that's right. So I have to dig in to review Paper Puppets Season 1. The live action adaptation. And let's see, compared to the animated one. The live lights and camera action of Paper Puppets Take 2. Alright, so the episode starts with Golden Kingdom is like making a first challenge. Well, actually, to be honest, I mean, it's like compared to Nam and Sandy season one. It is too awkward to my ass, but to be honest, I mean, I don't know what it's all about. Well, luckily, let's check out my favorite scene. What? Take this. Okay, so I love that scene. Let's do that again. Ah! Now, sit back and enjoy the most disturbing scene that you've never seen. So... I was frozen today! Alright, so the season one finale when Fred and Melody are the final two just so they can win one million dollars. Who's gonna meet that evil thing? Well, I hope it's not me for five or Steve Cobbs because I'm not gonna talk about them. Huh. Who could it be after Medley wins? Mr. Hand! Like, come on. It's just a little puppet thing. See? Like, like, fuck, man. I thought the criteria of Mr. Ham from Paper Take Two episode twelve was. <laughs> you better keep your head up, Journal, because without even knowing it, it can be lights out for you. From Paper Puppets Season 1, of course, it is just a puppet handy thingy. Whatever. Fuck it. Like, in Adam and Sanity Season 2, me phone 4 saw the smug face again. Or Steve Cobbs, I guess. Well, he didn't meet me phone 5 again because he's dead since an Adam and Sanity Season 1 finale back in 2012. I didn't even remember that, so, yeah, I got nothing, but, fine. Show me that Mr. Ham was planning for, and what he's gonna do. The government had built an artificial planet, which was at least 2,000 light years away. And the object community has been overpopulated by so much shows. Like, have you even seen chaotic objects? Anyway, like I was saying. So, let me get something straight. The atomic bomb that Mr. Han was talking about. It will plan to destroy the entire world, including Canada's and American border? I still don't get it. Not even that was a ridiculous thing. He used atomic bomb to d destroy it? I don't think so. Well... Paper Puppets takes two episodes 
13 was, but luckily, Journal got eliminated. Well, I don't know where the hell is Journal. He's been acting like a big baby since episode 12. Of course, he's just a nerd, a dork. Well, he have to be around here somewhere because he just went back to that cave or even a laboratory. Well, keep this behind us together because Journal is nothing but trouble. Where are he gonna meet again? Like Mr. Han or something? I don't know. It, wait, is it like gonna change in episode 14 of Paper Puppets Take Two? Hmm. Yeah, apparently so. Well, and then episode 13 of Anam and Sanity, Cobbs build a ship. When he actually build a ship, this is where where Mevo 4 was was talking about. Or test do do. Well actually that was that was a pretty damn distressful. Mr. Han tries to give Melanie a one million dollar and he said no. But luckily, what is Mr. Han's gonna do? Well, I don't even know that. But luckily, he have no choice. But luckily, he killed Fridge. He just killed him out of nowhere. And also, contestant pulled off the dimension and said, Mr. Han in another dimension. Wow, what a buggo. But luckily, is it changed from Paper Puppets Take Two? Well, I don't know. But luckily, however, that he was sent to the fifth dimension. Well, actually, Mifon Mif 5 dies in the Nightmare and Season 1 finale. Well, he is not coming back in Season 2. He's not coming back. And then Golden Hingen says, Goodbye, Mr. Han. And that's the end. And now that's the end of it. And then the mysterious thing. And that's how Paper Puppets Take 2 begins. Oh, guys, this is it. The only one. Hey! Wait, what was that? It's me. Taylor, what the hell you want? Journal went back to that cave and also a laboratory. He just ran away out of nowhere. No one believes him after he was talking about Mr. Hand. And also, he helped Cobbs. He helped Mr. Cobbs to get destroy Mr. Hand. I mean, destroy the world. Wait, tell me more about Cobbs. I'm curious. After Tissue sneezed me from four, he was all oh, he all oh, got damage. He went to the, to the me phone store or actually the apple store and i can't believe that it's gonna be i don't know a plan yeah i know mr han is an evil villain but that was all it is i can't believe he's going to destroy the entire world including mr i mean journal and after Jordan got eliminated in Paper Puppets Take 2 Episode 13, he ran off. Treasure Chest didn't know that he win, but luckily, Journal went back to that cave. Wait, wait, what? You didn't tell me more about Steve Cobbs? You want to tell me about, about Mr. Han? Tell me more about... That how did he went back that cave after a board game challenge? And also twelve. Journal went crazy the other day. But luckily the next day Team 47 has the last standing. But luckily Journal just went back to that cave. After he got eliminated Journal just went back at that cave, or even a laboratory. 
Remember that? That was episode three of Paper Puppets Take Two. But tell me more about that one. Shane was glad that journal got eliminated, but I can't believe he went back to that cave and the laboratory because Treasure just didn't know where he went. So, bye. I gotta go. Wow. That's how. Wow. That is how journal just went back to that cave and the laboratory because Treasure just didn't know where he went. Oh, is it gonna be changed in episode 14? Well, anyways, I'm Rob Roger. I remember, so you don't have to. Hmm. The games I'm gonna review next is Silver Surfer for Nintendo NES game. I'm gonna review this piece of garbage. If I like it or not.